Welcome to the second installment of the instructional videos for the Digital MEMS Inclinometer System. I hope you had a chance to check out the first installment, which outlined the system components. If not, it can be viewed on the RST Instruments YouTube channel. So we have a borehole here down to 29 meters depth. As you can see, the hole is installed with RST 70 millimeter diameter glue and snapping clinometer casing, which was grouted in place by the TREMI method. This is where we will be inst inserting our inclinometer probe to take readings. Although it is not a necessary procedure, it may be useful to do a spiral probe survey for installations that are deeper than 50 meters. Okay, so now it's time to connect the inclinometer probe to the inclinometer cable, making sure to align the notches. Now we will power up the ultra rugged field PC with Bluetooth connection to the reel. Then we will start the inclinometer software and establish connection with the reel. First you go to the start menu and select the digital inclinometer software. Make sure you have the right project and borehole selected. Press the button on the reel. The readout will first connect to the reel and then to the probe. Once you are connected to the probe, press readings to begin your survey. When an inclinometer casing is surveyed for the first time, you must choose a reference direction for your baseline readings and all future readings. Ideal installation of the inclinometer casing attempts to align one set of the grooves in the direction of expected movement. This is called the A-axis. It is recommended that this direction, the A-plus direction, be marked on the casing itself to ensure surveys are performed in the same manner each time. Now let's lower the probe down the casing along the A-plus direction with the wheels pointing up towards A-plus. Once the probe is at the bottom depth, place the cable grip at the top of the casing so the cable crimps uh, marked every half meter on our metric system and every two feet on our imperial system will have something steady to t rest on as you take readings with the ultra rugged field PC. Once you have your probe lowered down the hole, you will see your A axis and your B axis readings. Once the readings have stabilized, press accept. Then move your cable up to the next depth and repeat the process. You will keep repeating this step until you get to the top of your casing and the last barrel. Now that we've finished our last reading on the A plus direction, we're going to pull the probe out and turn it 180 degrees to do the A minus direction. With all your readings complete, you can view the data on the graphs on the field PC and transfer all your survey data to your PC and process it with RST's Inclinalysis software. Once you have finished your survey, disconnect the, the connector between the probe and the cable and make sure you put the caps back on each end to, for a safe transport back to the office. So there you have it. I hope you've learned the basics of how to use the RST Instruments Digital MEMS Inclinometer System. For more information, please refer to the manual on the resource DVD that shipped with your system. Thank you for watching.